Tonight, North Texans are mourning the loss of Congressman Ron Wright, the Arlington Republican, first member of Congress to die after contracting the virus. Our Caroline Vandergriff reporting tonight that Wright's friends and colleagues say that they will remember him as someone who always put others first. With his trademark style, we're always going to remember the bow tie guy, and his deep faith. He loved God and he loved others. Congressman Ron Wright served the people of North Texas for two decades. Before his election to Congress in 2018, Wright was a member of the Arlington City Council and then Tarrant County's tax assessor collector. Wright died on Sunday, less than three weeks after contracting COVID-19. This horrible disease cut an amazing life short as it has too many other lives. And I'm very sad about that. What will you miss most about him? At the end of the day, he took so much joy in lifting other people up. The 67-year-old had been battling lung cancer for the past two years. Every day, it didn't matter how dark it was. He still had joy and he still had that faith and purpose. And so while we are sad, I am sad. I have lost a friend. I have lost a mentor. But I know that he fought a good fight. Despite his health struggles, Wright remained dedicated to representing the people of Congressional District 6. I saw the pain in his face when he walked, when he talked, but so he must. His deputy chief of staff, Andy Wynn, says Wright was truly a people person. He always wanted to talk with everyone, and he always wanted to listen with everyone who called the office. The congressman was also a devoted husband with three kids and nine grandchildren. His friends and colleagues say they'll miss his knowledge of history and his sense of humor. He made our lives in this world better. And what more can you, you want from an amazing life, you know? Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. Ron Wright. And President Biden, by the way, also shared his condolences today, calling Representative Wright a fighter who battled bravely against both cancer and COVID-19 diseases. President Biden says our nation will continue to work tirelessly every day to defeat in the memory of all those we have lost. And now that includes the former congressman.